Hey, what's going on, my ASVAB party people? Coach Anderson here, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over a challenge question from yesterday's ASVAB class. So let's go ahead and get into it here to show you exactly how to get this done. And again, shout out to all of my students who are working so hard on raising their scores. I'm really excited about the participation in the classes recently. Y'all have been working extra hard inside of the courses in the website as well. So again, just a brief shout out to all my students. Y'all are rocking it. Keep it going and keep acing the ASVAB. Let's go ahead and solve this problem here so you can see how easy something as complicated as this looks can actually be. Here we go. So. Step one, whenever you're doing any word problem, including these complicated ones, including these lengthy ones, you wanna get started with the question sentence. So here's the question sentence right here. If she starts hanging the first frame, blah, 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 blah. What we really wanna do is start with the question action words right here. How many feet from the ceiling? Like the who, what, when, where, how many? This is where you're gonna start. So here it says, how many feet from the ceiling will the bottom of the last frame be? Okay, so that is definitely a question, but it may not make entire sense unless you read the situation first. But the gist of this is how many feet from the ceiling? Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a ceiling. And then it says, how many feet from the ceiling will the bottom of the last frame be? So it looks like we'll have some frames. I'll just go ahead and draw the bottom one right over here. And then it looks like we wanna see, again, the bottom, be careful here, keywords, the bottom of the last frame from the ceiling. So we wanna know essentially, let me go ahead and just switch this to a dotted line. We wanna know the distance from the ceiling all the way down to the bottom right there, the bottom of this last frame. That's what we want to figure out. So let me point that out again. This is the last frame. All right. So that's what I was able to extrapolate or take away from that question statement, that question sentence. The next thing that I'm going to do now is read the information to understand how we're going to be able to calculate the distance from the ceiling down to the bottom. Again, the bottom of that last frame. Let's check it out. Sarah is decorating her room and needs to hang a series of pictures on her wall. She has three identical picture frames that are each 15 inches tall. Okay, let me highlight that because that's going to be really important that we know. So three identical picture frames and each of them is 15 inches tall. So what I know if I zoom in right over here, this is going to be 15 inches from here to here. And again, we're gonna have two more of these because it said three identical frames. So I'll just go ahead and grab this over here and I'll duplicate it. And then I'll duplicate it again. So we're gonna have three of these. We're gonna have three of these some way, somehow. Uh, so I'll include that information and include the end for inches right there and there. So let's keep reading and understanding how else this is gonna be. So then it says they're gonna be 15 inches each and then she wants to arrange them vertically, okay, stacking them vertically, with six inches of space between each frame. That's gonna be very important. Again, they're stacked vertically like we see right there, but they're gonna have six inches of space between each frame. So what that means is we'll have six inches from here to here, and again, six inches from here to here. All right. Now, is there any more information that we have available to us? There is, right here, the word if. Remember that any sentence, any question sentence that starts with the word if, they're gonna be talking about essentially information that could or could not be used for the problem, but they're giving you conditional information. So if she starts hanging the first frame two feet from the ceiling, then how many feet from the ceiling will the bottom frame be? And so that information is very useful because when we take a look at what we have, we can calculate from here to here to here to here to here. We can calculate that. But what about here to here? We were never told about that. And that's what that last piece of information will tell us. That's going to be two feet from here to here to the top of that first frame. So remember the question. 
The question is, what's the distance from the ceiling all the way down to the bottom of the last frame? And I hope you can see that, well, we have numbers now. We have the numbers and we can definitely calculate this. So now the question is, is there anything we need to look out for before we calculate? And yes, there is one thing. That's gonna be right here, that we have inches, 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 but then feet right there. So let's keep this right there on the side for right now, and let's put together everything else. So we're gonna have this 15 inches, plus that six inches, plus another 15, plus the other six, plus another 15. Okay, sounds good. If I look at my answer choices, notice that the answer choices are all in feet and they're all in decimal format. So it's not feet and inches, it's just completely in feet as a decimal. So when we add all of this together, we're gonna bring all this together and we're gonna add it up, 15 plus 15 plus 15, that's 45, plus six is 51, plus another six is 57. So that right there is going to be 57 inches. So again, we need to convert inches to feet. And so we'll go ahead and use our conversion rate to get that done nice and easy. So we wanna eliminate inches and we're turning the feet. So one foot equals 12 inches. We'll have the 12 inches in the denominator. That way we can eliminate the unit inches and leave the unit feet. So once we do that, we see that it's essentially gonna be 57 divided by 12. And that's how we can be sure that we are dividing here to convert. So here, we'll do the division. And again, we're gonna leave the decimals. We want decimals, we're not gonna use the remainders. So we have 57, so 12 goes into five, it doesn't, but 12 goes into 57, that's gonna be four times. So we subtract four times 12, which is 48, leaving us with nine. We'll place a decimal and we'll continue going. All right, so 12 goes into 90, how many times? Well, 12 goes into 90, that'll end up being seven times because seven times 12 is 84. We have six left over, bring another zero down. How many times does 12 go into 60? That's gonna be five exactly. So there we are, perfect, clean division. And we have 4.75 feet, but we are not done. Remember, all we calculated was all of the inches here added together from the top of the first frame to the bottom of the last frame. We still need to account for the two feet that we have between the ceiling and that first frame. So we have 4.75 feet. We are going to add on again the extra two feet, giving us 6.75 feet. And that is the correct answer for this question, my party people. The correct answer is going to be C, 6.75 feet. And there we are, my party people. So if this helped you out, if you enjoyed this mini challenge question, go ahead, let me know in the comments, like the video, and as always, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And in case you didn't know, every week we host a free ASVAB class, so make sure to check out the link in the description of this video or in my bio, depending on where you're watching this, so you can get free ASVAB help, raise your score, and get that job you deserve. As always, my party people, let's continue acing the ASVAB. I've got your back every step of the way. My name's Coach Anderson, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.